This new anime about 100, yes, 100 girlfriends, looks like it's going to be one hell of a ride if you ask me. For those of you of culture just like me who love a good old harem comedy, anime, well, we're eating good next season, that's for sure. I am 414 Anime and today we are diving into one of my most anticipated new anime coming out next season in what has the most mouthful of titles ever. In Kimi no Kota ga Dai 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 Daisuke na Hyaitanin no Kanajo, translated in English as the 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. Simply referred to as the 100 girlfriends. <gasps> and breathe. So let's get it. I'm really excited for the fall anime season as it is absolutely packed with a lot of banger anime continuations that I freaking adore. I'm talking Shield Hero, Goblin Slayer, Doctor Stone, Eminence in Shadow, Girlfriend, Girlfriend, but we also have a lot of really awesome looking new shows and the one that immediately caught my eye was of course the 100 Girlfriends. No shame. This harem anime is based on the popular manga written by Rikito Nakamura and beautifully illustrated by Yukiko Nozawa. And boy do I think we are in for a wild ride with this one. The animation studio adapting this is Bibbery Animation Studios, the studio behind titles such as The Quintessential Quintuplet Season 2 in the movie and Azo Lane. The animation in both of those shows are really good, so I expect more of that in this anime, and I'm excited for it. The anime is directed by Sato Hikaru, who has directed the absolute legend anime Food Wars, which gets me really pumped for the 100 girlfriends, as Food Wars is a show that I die, 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 ski. And not just for the culture before you call me out, though you wouldn't be too far off the mark in saying that. For me, I've been loving Temporu so much this season, so if you're a fan of that show, then I think you're really going to love this anime too. There's just something really special about harem comedies for me. It's without a doubt one of my favourite genres in anime. And yeah, call me trash, but I, I like what I like, man. And with the 100 girlfriends, I just think we're in for a really wild time. So like what you hear so far, well, consider hitting that like button for me as it really helps me out. And if you want more videos such as this, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified. I'm trying to reach the goal of 200,000 subscribers, so let's reach that together. Arigato. Now back to the video. So the 100 Girlfriends has a really fun take on the harem genre and it's so very, let's say, mouthwatering. It's basically going to be a very hilariously over the top harem rom-com, so what's not to love about that? Give me a show that makes me laugh, gives me some fan service, the occasional bit of emotional feel, and it basically just lets me switch off the entire world for 20 to 25 minutes so I can lose myself in the beautiful world of anime girls, and you've got a fan in me. Now, this story revolves around high school student Rentero Aijo. He is seen confessing to a girl only to get rejected. Now, we've seen this many a different time, and you hate to see your boy strike out like that, but we quickly learn that this is the 100th girl who has rejected him. My man, you hate to see it. Like, it takes courage, a brave heart, and nerves of absolute steel to confess to a girl. And the eternal pain of rejection stings. It's like a dagger no man wants, but the resolve of this dude to just pick himself up, to dust off that shame and agony, and just confess to like a hundred girls total, to keep going, to keep going through failure after failure. What a king. What a chad. Now, after experiencing heartbreak after heartbreak, he visits a matchmaking shrine and prays for a girlfriend in high school. Suddenly, the shrine's god appears. Now, Rentero is told by this god that his rejections were actually the result of a cosmic blunder, and that this deity will now make things right by ensuring that Rentero has 100 soulmates. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal, right? And it makes enduring those 100 rejections seem like it was kind of worth it. Like, yes, you're going to have that mental trauma for life, but I, I don't know, I guess you'd overcome that in no time moving forward, right? Now, as you can imagine, Rentero is obviously very sceptical about it, but he just kind of goes along with it. What's the worst that could happen, right? 
Rintaro meets the rich Hikari and the Sundare Karane on the first day of high school. Now, both girls, of course, fall in love with him right away, and Rentaro is drawn to both of them, but is unable to choose between the two. To which I don't blame him. Two very much best girls right here, people. Now, Rentaro decides to return to the shrine for guidance on the matter, and as expected when dealing with a god, things aren't always that straightforward. Rentaro is informed that if he does not return one of his soulmate's affections, then they will die in an accident. Rentaro decides to do what any of us would do, which is to date both Hikari and Karane at the same time, with their permission of course. Not wanting such a destiny to befall them. He's a hero man, a true hero. As the story progresses, additional girls appear and become Rentaro's girlfriends, and you can see where and what the premise of the show is from this point. I am excited, excited, excited. So super pumped for this anime, and I just know it's gonna be an absolute banger as we follow this Chad and his 100 beautiful girlfriends through whatever is thrown their way. The premise is just so out there, wacky, and truthfully, I'm just all over it. This is exactly the type of peak I need week in, week out in my life for the next few months. I mean, just following Rentaro alone is going to be really fun to watch. This guy is seriously going to be in for one hell of a journey with 100 girls coming his way. And he does look to be the proper nice guy. He has that easy to get along with vibe, but I'm sure there will be situations that come up that will test him. I mean, 100 girls, man, that's going to be a situation or, you know, situations at least waiting to happen. Our king's got to spread his time amongst them, but I'm here for it. I really am. Now, Rentaro is going to be voiced by Kato Wataru, who, you know, has voiced a few characters in other shows, but nothing major. So this is going to be like quite a big role for him. He also has a very interesting task at hand with a very infamous manga panel that features all of this dialogue. Now, if I've got this right, this panel is at the time where Rentaro has around 20 of his girlfriends, and the panel is him telling them all what he truly loves about them. Like, I don't know if we're gonna get as far as 20 girlfriends in this, or if that will come in later seasons, but that's literally an entire episode of speech right there. It's actual madness, but I love it. I really love it. Now, the most important aspects, and I say this with no shame at all, is, of course, the girls in this show. And I feel like I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Hikari looks thick AF. Karane is just as fine, plus she has the whole before-mentioned tsundere thing down, and I do love a good tsundere. You know what they say, a tsundere a day keeps the doctors away. Well, they don't, but you know. We have the lolly Shizuka, not my thing, but cute, I guess. There's Kasuri, who has the science geek thing going on with the lab coat, again, lolly, but the other main girl we have had some focus on really does grab my attention, boys and girls, and that is Nano. White hair, red eyes, a fox, some would say, and I'm very excited to see more of her, that's for sure. And yeah, there are, of course, a lot more girls to come, but these are the ones who have been highlighted so far, and yeah, looking forward to it. Noise. We've had four PVs for the anime now, if I remember rightly, and some of them are just specific character PVs, but the show looks like a wild ride full of hilarious moments, and can it just come out already? Digging the animation, vibe of the show looks to be really fun, and the music is just upbeat and really does capture the tone of the show. From what I have seen, the anime's first episode will air on October 8th, and the episode count hasn't been revealed, though I'm pretty confident that we'll be in for probably around 12 to 13 episodes with the potential for a second season if it does well enough. The 100 Girlfriends will be airing weekly on Crunchyroll and you know your boy is just super excited for this one. Are you excited for this anime? Are you a fan of the harem rom-com genre? What other anime are you most excited for this season? Let me know everything down in the comment section below. And while you wait for the next video to drop, why not check out this video where I talk about Fryrun Beyond Journey's End, which looks to be one of the biggest new anime not to miss this full season. But guys, that is it from me. I'll see you soon with some more. Till then, you take care. Peace, peace.